No. Oh. Hey guys, didn't see you there. I guess you probably guessed it. We're gonna be showing you how to use the hack squat machine, some of its benefits, how to load it up, and how to get your range of motion. So you step right onto the platform here. After you've lowered your weights, or you can do a few reps before you load your weights, start to get used to it. You're gonna get the shoulders underneath here, back against the backrest, come up a bit. Don't hyper extend the knees. Always a slight bend at the top. Push the handle out. Otherwise, if I don't push the handle out, it's gonna stop me right there. And you can do reps like that. I just don't have a lot of range of motion. So I'm gonna knock it right out. I'll get down to about parallel with the floor, slightly lower, and then come up. Breathing in, out. All right, then when you're done, pull it back in. Come down, and then take your time coming off. Yeah, just this peg and this peg are what are actually affecting the weight that's loaded. The other pegs at the back, this is just where you load the extra weights. Better than having them all over the floor, right? So maybe you wanna take one off, put one on. You don't need to use the clips on this because they aren't gonna go anywhere. All right, some of the benefits here, you're gonna be working the legs, quads, hips. Now, you just saw me do it this way. I'm gonna show you another mode you can do. So let's say you're playing rugby, football, you're gonna hit the ruck, make the tackle. You're gonna be down here, so you can actually face the machine. Come up a bit, knock the handle out again. And now we're back here. And then come up. Obviously a little bit more core control. Give it a try though, let me know how it goes.